Hello and welcome to our new awesome class, Classical Mechanics. This is a graduate level class, Physics 411. This class is something that most of you need to take, but I'm going to try to make it super exciting so you will actually want to take it. Uh, first of all, a couple of words about myself. I am Sasha Chikovskoy and I will be the instructor for this course. We also have an awesome Aslan Seifi, who is the teaching assistant. Uh, I have been teaching this course uh, for three times. This is my fourth time teaching it. Uh, and last year, uh, as you all very well know, uh, we had to deal with a pandemic. And I took this class completely online for the first time, which meant that I recorded all of the lectures, uh, all 24 of them, and this is lecture number one. Uh, and so the way this class will work is a little bit unusual. We're going to flip the classroom. So what you're going to do is you're going to watch the lectures online much like you're doing right now. And then during and after each lecture, you're going to do the quizzes and you're going to do them right there in Canvas. To make it more exciting, I'm going to ask you to finish these quizzes and watch, finish watching the lectures uh, an hour before our in-class time. So the quizzes will be due by 9 a.m. Monday, Wednesday, Friday and uh, our in-person time uh, and I will call it seminar time sometimes because I'm going to be solving problems in class there will be 10 to 10 50 a.m. Monday Wednesday Friday and uh, they will be happening at Tech F 160. So that's where our in-person interactions uh, will be taking place. In addition to seminars, uh, we'll also uh, have uh, office hours uh, and uh, we'll also uh, have uh, um, sections. Uh, so um, both of which uh, could be up to an hour a week, uh, and uh, they will most likely be uh, over Zoom. So they will be most likely over Zoom. And uh, you are going to ask me and Aslan uh, for, the for the scheduling uh, of the office hours and the sections if you actually need them, because they will be quite um, a few hours a week of FaceTime, you will have about three hours a week of lecture videos uh, that you will watch asynchronously before the class. And then you will also have about three hours a week of in-class interaction with me um, via the seminars, uh, where, as I said, I'm going to be solving uh, problems uh, on the board. So let me put that down. That's not all the types of interaction we're going to have. Uh, to make it even more exciting, what we're going to have is uh, our very own Slack space. You should receive invitations to join the Slack space in the next few days. Um, so just around the start of the quarter. If you haven't got an invitation, please let me know and I will add you to the Slack space. On Slack space, you can ask uh, Aslan and I and anybody else in the class any questions you have about the problem sets, about lecture material, anything that's confusing, uh, please post there. There will be a channel for every problem set. You can create new channels if they're useful. Uh, you can create channels to, um, to work with other students and coordinate your um, you know, problem set sessions um, when you work together on the problem sets. Uh, which uh, brings me to uh, one other very important topic that I wanted to discuss, uh, and that is what the final grade will be made of. 
So the final grade consists of uh, the quizzes. Um, and uh, the quizzes are uh, worth 10% of the final grade. Uh, then, of course, there are problem sets. And the problem sets are worth 30% uh, uh, of the final grade. Uh, then there will be the midterms. In fact, we'll have just one midterm. And that one will also be 30% worth. And uh, finally, there will be the final exam which will also be worth 30% of the final grade. So the quizzes, as I said, they are due one hour before our in-class interaction. Uh, why is that? Well, that's because I would like to make sure that you had a chance to watch uh, the pre-recorded lectures. And uh, then it will give me one hour to go th over your responses to the quizzes. Uh, to see what sort of confusions and questions you have. One of the questions in the quizzes will be uh, what sort of uh, things are confusing and what sort of things would be useful for me to review in our um, in-person interaction. So that's why I'm asking the quizzes to be due one hour before the class so I actually can uh, come to the office, sit down, look over your responses, and there are uh, more than 40 of you, so it will take me quite a bit to go through them. Uh, and so one hour is actually very little. Um, so. And then I will be able to do some just-in-time teaching, as it's called, where I react uh, to your requests. So I'm trying to be as useful to you as possible. Um, so the problem sets are actually going to be very hard, at least some of them. So my suggestion is that you work in groups. So what does that mean? It means that you can discuss all the material, you can discuss the solutions to the problem set, and uh, the but the but once you start writing it up, it should be your own work. So n you cannot copy the solution uh, from the one that you came up together with. You have to sit down and write it with your own hand, with your own thought. Or if you prefer to type it, of course you're welcome uh, to type it up um, on the computer. Um, so uh, here it's also important that whenever you hand something in like a problem set or midterm or a final exam, uh, everything, all the submissions will be electronic. Please, please, please make sure that they are legible, that uh, Aslan and I, and I can actually read what you wrote. So if you're writing an iPad or a tablet, uh, please try to make sure that we can understand what's written. If you write on a piece of paper and then take a photograph of that, please use a, a scanner app of which there are plenty uh, for smartphones that increases the contrast, makes the background um, uh, one single color so that the text stands out. That will be very, very thankful for us and because there are uh, more than 40 of you, uh, it will significantly reduce the workload uh, on both Aslan and I. And we will be very thankful and hopefully we can be more efficient and helpful to you. Um, about the midterms and the final exams. So both of them will be take home uh, and uh, there will be no time limit. So you will uh, get about a week to complete. I tried it uh, for the first time for the midterm last year and the students loved it. I've always had the final exam um, take home, but I, I set a time limit of a few hours. Uh, it turns out that most of you love it if you have an entire week to work on it, so there is no time limit set, uh, from practically speaking. So uh, that's how we're going to have it this year uh, as well. I hope that that will be helpful. And of course, the exam is going to be open book, uh, but you will not uh, be talking to anyone or discussing the exams with, uh, with anyone. Uh, so you will need to work on your own. Let me see what else is there left for me to discuss. Um, yes, um, the contact information, both mine and Aslan's, you can of course find it uh, in the syllabus, which I recommend that you, uh, you read. So my email is uh, at checko at northwestern.edu uh, and uh, Aslan's email 
uh, is, uh, let's see, I'm going to get it right, hopefully. The first name, the last name, 2024 at u.northwestern.edu. So these are at least two ways of getting in touch with us if you have any questions about any of the material that uh, we have in this class. Um, and uh, another way, and uh, perhaps preferred way, uh, please reach out to us uh, using the Slack space. Uh, if you post the question in Slack space, uh, let's say in problem set two, then everybody in the class, because everybody will be part of the problem set two channel, um, and problem set two will be quite difficult as you will see, that's why I'm using it as an example. So problem set two, uh, you will be able to get responses from everyone in the class. So if you're working on the problem set, let's say 2 a.m., um, sometimes I do that. Uh, that's the beauty of grad school uh, in academia. You can work on your own schedule. Probably there will be someone who is working on the same problem set at the same time, so you can get a near instantaneous response from your peers. And finally, there is one a topic that I didn't have a chance to cover and I will try and cover it over here. Uh, namely, it's uh, the assessment. Uh, what will be the assessment for the course? So here we're going to map the percent grade into the letter grade. So that's a percent grade and letter grade. And uh, we're going to have uh, four columns over here. So the first one is 90 to 100 percent. The second one is 80 to 90 percent. Um, 70 to 80 percent and less than 70 percent. So 90 to 100 percent maps into A minus A. 80 to 90 maps into B minus B, B plus. Uh, 70 to 80 maps into C minus C, C plus, and less than 70 is D or an F. I have never had a D or an F in the past three years of me teaching this course, um, and uh, I actually can't recall a, a C grade either. So um, I hope that we will not break these uh, uh, good trends and most of you will do spectacularly well in this course. If you see that you're not uh, on the trajectory to get the grade that you desire, please reach out to me, uh, send me an email or a Slack message and I will be more than happy to meet with you and uh, work out a plan for you to try and uh, get on the track that you would like to be on. I've done it previously uh, for students. Um, in some cases, students um, had family emergencies, uh, sometimes health emergencies and scares. Um, and uh, in uh, all cases, we've been able to, whenever the student uh, was determined uh, to uh, get it right, uh, I always worked it out with the student uh, to figure out how to get the grade that they wanted and how to restructure the course so that we'll be able to finish it on time. So if um, something unexpected strikes, uh, do not disappear, uh, do not fall into despair, uh, reach out to me, I am on your side, Aslan is on your side, and we will do our best to try and make sure that this class is useful, this class is fun, is fun and uh, that uh, you enjoy uh, learning the material uh, over here. So I think that that's all that I wanted to, to tell you here. Just one last little note uh, about electronic submissions. Uh, please submit them um, as a PDF, as a single PDF. So that we have one document to work with so what, why are we asking for that? Because uh, in electronic submissions, it's really nice if all the submissions are uniformly the same. So if we get a PDF, uh, we can open it on uh, a tablet, uh, we can mark it up, uh, give you feedback right there as if it was a piece of paper, and then put all the PDFs together, 
um, compress them and upload them on Canvas and all of the PDFs go back to you so you will receive a graded problem set with comments from us, which is hopefully going to be as close to a paper uh, version uh, that uh, we are all mostly used uh, to. Uh, and uh, with that, uh, let me wrap up this uh, first part of the first lecture. So in fact, this was lecture one, part one. And uh, from now on, in the next part of this lecture, you're going to go to part two of lecture one, which I recorded about a year ago. So you will see that at that point, I don't have this fancy microphone. At that point, I do not have this fancy light over here that shines in my face to make me look bright and happy. And uh, um, you will see that perhaps the camera is not as good. So uh, <laughs> this time a year ago, I was working very, very hard to bring this home studio up to speed and make it I'll look as professional as possible and you will see that the quality of the lectures in terms of the recording will go up and up continuously over time so please bear with me uh, the first lecture uh, you will uh, probably notice that the sound is not as great as the one that's coming out of this mic uh, but it will get better so please stay with me I hope that you will have as much fun as uh, I had when I was recording these lectures <laughs> and I also hope that you will have much more sleep than I had when I was recording those lectures. I basically didn't sleep for three months, somewhere you know, from September uh, through November. Uh, but now the good news is that we have all of these lecture videos. I hope, I really hope that you will enjoy them. I really hope that you will enjoy meeting uh, our dog Coleman. Some of you have met uh, him in person. Uh, I tend to run into a lot of you in Wrigleyville, the area where, where we live. Uh, so if you see a big fluffy dog around Wrigleyville, uh, that could be me walking it. So come on over. And if it's me, uh, please, if you're a dog person, uh, come and say hello. And if you're not a dog person, please come and say hello as well. Um, just perhaps not to the dog, but only to me. Most of the time when people come and say hello, they don't say hello to me. They just uh, go directly for Coleman. Okay, well, on that positive note, uh, let me wrap this uh, part up. And I'm going to actually see you in person very, very soon. I'm really excited uh, about that. Bye-bye. One, two, three.